Hey, what is going on guys? My name is Nort, and in today's Fallout 4 video, I'm going to be showcasing three secret and hidden features which hopefully you didn't know about Fallout 4. The aim of these episodes is to teach you something new, so if you did learn something new in this episode, then please don't leave without clicking that like button as it is very much appreciated. Anyway, kicking off the episode, I'm going to be showing you how you can get yourself a drinking buddy. If you guys love building bases, this is definitely a must have, so all you're going to want to do is make your way over the Shamrock Tap House located on the east side of the map. From here you're going to want to make your way into the room right at the back and pick up the drinking buddy password. Once you pick this up make your way over to the terminal and insert the password in. From here you will notice a buddy will start activating, he will start talking to you and he will begin walking towards you and he will basically just activate in front of you just like any other normal robot would. But what's awesome about drinking buddy is that he will give you free drinks, free beers, he will service you, he'll tell you jokes, he is a good sport to have and it's something which a lot of players don't actually know about and this is something which will amuse you whether you have a good base or a bad base or anything like that it is just something you want to get so all you're going to want to do is make your way through all of these menu options until it comes up with I'm keeping you which you can press by pressing left or square or X once you have pressed that you can then keep him to your home and you can set him to whichever location you wish to set him to for example I'm going to set my drinking buddy to go to my sunshine tiding co-op of course my base isn't amazing but it's still something Thing which will definitely lighten up the mood in the base. So as you can see, I'm setting it to the Sunshine Tidings Co-op. You can set it to wherever you want to. And all you're going to want to do then is make your way over to your base where you set him to, sleep for about three days or so, and then eventually Drinking Buddy will show up as your own sort of servant. Now, as you can see right now, I'm talking to him. He'll tell you jokes. He will give you beer. And he will brew his own beer as well. So it's definitely something I do recommend you guys get, like I said. And it's just something I think all of you guys need to be aware of because I do know that a lot of players are unaware of Drinking Buddy. If you have any questions about how you can obtain him, feel free to let me know down in the comments section below. But as you can see right now, he's already got 26 beers, uh, which I can get. And he's also got some other awesome things as well. Just some useful things which might help you out at some point. Anyway, you have now got him secured in your base, so enjoy him while you can. Anyway, next up, I thought I may as well include this message in a bottle. Now, if you guys don't know what message in a bottle is, it's a small series I have been doing in which we hunt down all of the bottle messages, which lead you to a whole bunch of loot. Now, this bottle message can be found on the east side, once again, of the wasteland in this exact location. It's pretty easy to find once you're over at this location. All you're going to want to do is look down into the sandy beach where you're walking, and you will see a bottle with a piece of paper sticking out the top. Once you pick it up, you'll see see a small message inside and you find the treasure of this bottle is very simple and very easy. So all you're going to want to do is simply swim out exactly from where the bottle is, so just go southeast, just swim for about 20 seconds or so, dive underwater until you find a plane wreckage. It's fairly easy to find, honestly guys, you will see this straight away. Once you have found the plane wreckage, all you're going to want to do is make your way to the front of the plane wreckage until you find some stairs. Simply make your way up the staircase and once you've made your way to the top of the staircase, you will see a huge red chest filled with loads and loads of loot. Now, if you guys don't know what message in a bottle is, it's essentially some something which directs you to loads of loot in one specific location. Although it might not be amazing loot, although it might not be crazy rare stuff, it's still just a lot of really useful and good loot you can find in one location. So if you are just looking for something like this, this is definitely something I recommend you guys do. And there's other messages in a bottle dotted around the map as well, so make sure you look out for them as well. Anyway, last but not least, I'm going to be showing you something which my good friend 2Dynamic actually taught me, and this is how you can get yourself Nuka Grenades. Nuka Grenades are extremely powerful, they have a lot of damage on the enemy, and they're extremely rare because you can't actually build them, and not many players know where you get them. So all you're going to want to do is make your way over to the Crater House, and find all the children of the Atom Preachers. Now this is where it gets a bit intense. The faster you kill them, the more nuka grenades you get. Unfortunately, it took me a few minutes to kill all of these guys, so I only got one nuka grenade, but after asking quite a few of you guys on Twitter, and also just talking to a few of my friends, I've heard stories of people getting up to four nuka Nuka grenades in Crater House just by using this tactic and killing them as fast as possible. Anyway, once you have killed them all, go and pick up all of their loot 
and what you will notice is that there will be loads of nuka grenades on each child of the Atom Preacher and this is exactly what they look like. They're awesome, they're insane and it's something which I think all of you guys definitely need to experience. Anyway guys, my name is Nort, I hope you did enjoy and if you did please don't leave without clicking that like button and if you are new here I do recommend you click that subscribe button as well as you'll never miss out on any more Fallout 4 content on this channel. Let me know your thoughts, secrets, tips and tricks in Fallout 4 down in the comments section below. But guys, my name is Nort, I hope you did enjoy and I will see you guys next time.